everybody to, oh, there we go. Yeah. Today is kind of a very special day for the church. Today is, I used the, I, I, I told you what it was a few minutes ago. What did I say? Uh, for hmm? Ash Wednesday or something? No, it's just before Ash Wednesday. Transfiguration. Feast Transfiguration? The Feast of the Transfiguration. A very important feast in the life of the church. Something that really made a difference in the lives of the apostles. So I'm going to have uh, uh, Mr. King read the story. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hang you off too. <laughs> Actually, Actually, the story is, going to, is our gospel lesson for today, so I'm reading it to you early. Uh, you guys all watch a lot of TV, don't you? You see some yep. of these graphic things that come out, things appear and they disappear like that. Yep. Well, I'm going to read a story that happened 2,000 years ago about similar things. It says, now about eight days after these sayings, Jesus took with him the apostles Peter and John and James, and they went up to the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly they saw two men, Moses and Elijah, talking to him. They appeared in glory and were speaking of his departure, which he was about to accomplish in Jerusalem. Now Peter and his companions were weighed down with sleep. They were sleeping. But since they, but since they had stayed awake, they saw his glory with the two men who stood with him. Just as they were leaving him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, three houses, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Not knowing what he had said, not knowing what he had said. <clears throat> While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them. A cloud, ooh. And they were terrified as they entered the cloud. Oops. <laughs> then from the cloud came a voice saying, this is my son, my chosen, listen to him. When the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. They kept silent and no days told no one of the things they had seen. I mean, they didn't have the television that time. <laughs> <laughs> On the next day, when they had come down from the mountain, a great crowd met him. Just then a man from the crowd shouted, teacher, I beg you, look at my son. He is my only child. Suddenly a spirit seizes him. <clears throat> And all at once he shrieks. It convulses him until he foams at the mouth. It mauls him and it will scarcely leave him. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I begged your disciples to cast us out, but they could not. Jesus answered, you faithless and perverse generation. How much, lo how much longer must I be with you and bear with you? Bring your son here. While he was coming, the demon dashed him to the ground in convulsions. But Jesus rebuked the clean spirit, get out of there, and healed the boy and gave him back to his father. And all they were, they were all astounded at the greatness of God and all that he was doing. Wow. So, do I look any different than I did just a few minutes well, ago? Well, yeah. Yeah. A little bit different, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Alex? Okay. So first you got our dress up, and then you hug your suit jacket off, and then you put your robe, your little piece to me, and your little to me. Exactly. Exactly. So, do you think that I'm any different than I was before? No. No. No, not I'm probably deep down inside, I'm the same person. Exactly. My clothes, that's important. I put these on for a special reason. I make, I try and make it a very special thing when I put these clothes on, this robe, this stole. But inside, I'm still the same person. And Jesus did the most amazing thing when all of his clothing changed and his face shone and everybody was dazzled by it. But then on that mountaintop, something happened and then he went down the mountain but he was still the same person. He was still the same person. And I want you all to know that you all are still the same people inside. Clothing is important, 
But inside is what's important. That's what is the most important thing of all. And what you do in your day-to-day -day lives, what you do every day of your life matters so much to everybody, to you, to your family, to this congregation here. So take the lesson from Jesus, from the Gospel of Luke, Change outside, yes, it matters. It reveals something, but it's what's inside that is really the most important thing inside of each one of you. So bow your head and pray with me. Dear God, thank you for your church, thank you for your church. a place where we can learn what truly matters, what's in our hearts, and what's in your will for us. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Friends, now I invite you to go back, sit with your parents, and Sunday school will commence as soon as the singing stops. Oh.